also let's put hands together for Mr. Xavier to please come on to the stage to do the lamp lighting. Can we all begin this day especially the chief guest brand ambassador of 49 to please begin the lamp lighting ma'am. So can we all give a round of applause. Maruk Sari Andhru Gattiga Chappat Love. I think I've already worked with 49 and she is an amazing person. So can you all put hands together for uh, Dr. Jyoti. A very good afternoon. I'm so happy today. It's kind of an auspicious day. Uh, I can say a dream come true. So I'm um, Dr. Jyoti, Medical Director of 49 Fertility Organization. So it's a proud and privilege to invite and to welcome all of you here, each of you. So to also tell in Telugu, the local language, Swagatam Suswagatam Andariki. And um, 49 Gurinchi Chaptunte, um, 10 years journey Naku Kanpistundi Kalamundu, my doctor Sik Lunaru. And Matrutma Manejoka Varam. Whenever anybody is asked this question, me the most precious day and miraculous day in your life, I think invariably andaru na chetlo ka baby choose na puru. A baby eyes choose the na kokati life lo mundu ke lala no ka energy journey lo yento custom to oka bundle of joy baby to unna kundar couples mere choose na it's so happy. So we thank all the couples here. Me anta busy schedule ni miru udle si ocharu mato patu e celebration ki we are very very happy andy. Thank you so much all the couples and the kids there. Thank you andy. I think they deserve a applaud from everybody. Thank you for trusting us and thank you for uh, making this a very memorable day in our life. So with that, uh, of course. Uh, today I take this honor even to invite Sneha Garu, who when I see her, I was telling her, Tana smile lone oka matritvam kanpistundi. In her smile, I can see a motherhood in her smile. So thank you Sneha Garu for coming all the way and encouraging us to do more in this field. So also I would like to thank uh, um, very importantly our uh, team 49 for what we are standing here for. So now it's led by Mr. Our CEO, Mrs. Uh, Vinesh Ji. He comes with lot of, uh, you know, lot of knowledge. Collectively, 31 years of experience. Yesterday only I got to know. He's so much of experience in the field. So 49, when he started 10 years ago, our only idea was to serve the society. We wanted to do the best to the society. We are here, doctors, with the skill of treating infertile couples. When we started this journey, there are a lot of many people with the same mind came to us. Like you can see all our doctors here. So happy. They also came with the same intention of doing service to the society. And with that, I think uh, Chandraji also has told us that more than 10,000 couples from our center has been, uh, uh, you know, from our center, they have had uh, their dream come true. So thank you so much. It can be only done with the help of a team. And when the team is ready, when people are ready, what about fertility and baby is created in lab. So a lab condition should be just like a mother's womb. And a garba shame like a condition undali. Dantlo oxygen gani, CO2 gani, nitrous gani. It should be like perfect for the success rate and also for the safety. So every time Something great about our 49 institution is whatever is there outside the country, Videsham loan technology, Memo, Motta Maduluga, Mana 49 low, every time we launch and we feel our infertile couples should go with highest success rate with without side effects. That's the passion which is driving us. For that, 
we have our team who have promised us because everything comes with a kind of price so e the invest chesi the best technology chi pillaleka baade pade vallu intiki baby tho ellalani aa technology ni launch cheyataniki we have with us a very popular uh, embryologist ivf consultant from spain thanu baiti kellalsindi avasaram ledhu ap telangana lo 49 lo you can go with baby with all this great technology we want to do best to infertile couples so thank you mr javier for collaborating with us and putting all your knowledge into that lab which is like a mother zoom and giving a standard operative procedure to increase the success rate more and also manage the quality which is so important in the lab so with this they are here to do the honor of launching this great technology and of course when it comes to motherhood just 3 days back oka lady 22 years marriage i she is 44 now just 3 days back she became mother 10 years before she the technology was not enough for her to become mother because of these advanced technology 20 years wait chesina tarvata thana life lo oka velugu baby lekka we have seen and uh, we are so happy about it we want to serve more we are good people with good intention with uh, whenever uh, something somebody wants to serve i always say god comes inside daivam because of that nature helps us so that is the way we are all together here all great people with great mind are there to do good to the society thank you so much for trusting us and we wish to create many 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 more um, you know uh, 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 infertile couple achieve their dream would have uh, you know baby the bundle of joy thank you so much so can we all put a round of applause to her once again for her beautiful speech all right so in a world where information can be overwhelming and parenting advice can be conflicting dr amulya stands out as a source of clarity and understanding through her tireless efforts she has helped parents not only understand the um, you know development of child but also embrace the beautiful journey of parenthood with confidence today we she joins us to share insights wisdom and practical advice on navigating parenthood together whether you are a parent starting this incredible journey or a seasoned parent facing new challenges dr amulya's expertise promises to be a guideline light so now let's put hands together for dr amulya to give her and tell us more about this gatika chapatlandi thank you for the introduction uh, good evening everyone it's such a vast audience and i'm so happy to see all of you over here thank you for this opportunity so parenting is like a roller coaster ride and i'm sure all you mothers over here must be agreeing you have your ups you have your lows but it's a magical journey and children change so fast a small baby who's in your lap completely dependent on you for your feed go- grows into a child who talks who laughs and sometimes argue with you isn't it magical this journey can sometimes be overwhelming because there are many challenges also so i would be talking to you regarding few aspects of development why early childhood is important and how you can uh, travel to it so if you see when a child is born the brain size is almost quarter of that of an adult by one year it doubles its size and by 3 years it's 80% and by 5 years it's 90% so that's actually very huge so in 5 years if you see the brain development is so huge so whatever you do to the child in the first 5 years is going to be the foundation to how a child would be when they grow into an adult if you see in a child's brain there are many nerve cells and they are connected to each other with neurons and these neurons keep developing now if you give a positive parenting like you give lots of love lots of emotional connection then positive synapses are formed and when a child grows into an adult you would see a child would be more confident emotionally stable but if you're going to give lot of negative influences the child is exposed to lot of trauma 
then the fire and the flight the brain stem which is responsible for anger that part of the brain stem gets developed and when a child is older you would you might see that the child is emotionally unstable they can start having narcissistic traits so it's very important that you provide the first 5 years in a very peaceful and nurturing environment so if you see there are various styles of parenting so i would la ask uh, like to ask you regarding it so one is authoritarian now this has been followed since long where it's more of punishment threats and by fear you're teaching the child the second one is authoritative where you are disciplining the child you're being firm definitely setting boundaries but in a very polite sweet way and respecting the child understanding the feeling the third type of parenting is permissive parenting where you think are just a child you don't need to tell as they grow they should be okay and the fourth time is negligent so in negligent you are totally uh, devoid of what a child is doing so what do you think is best for a child's growth so is it authoritative authoritarian permissive or negligent well it's authoritative where you definitely have firm boundaries and respect the child in a polite way now if you see a child's development goes through massive changes and it can be divided into five main stages one is the first one is the neonatal period the first 28 days of life the baby is constantly with you touch is very important in this stage massaging your child talking to the child exclusive feeding if it's possible this helps in the child's brain growth now the next period is from 28 days to 1 year this is the infancy so here you would see a lot of motor skills which your child will develop rolling over head holding trying to crawl trying to walk now at this stage it's very important you provide the right kind of environment so keep talking to the child give tummy time have a play gym in the house and it's shown that if you introduce screen to a child for less than, in children less than 2 years it's going to really have a detrimental effect we have seen that children exposed to prolonged screen time like either because the parent is occupied or just because the child is going to learn certain things like alphabets numbers if mobile or if a child is exposed to too much screen we are seeing a lot of behavioral issues like uh, speech delay a uh, poor eye contact impaired socialization so it's very important try to avoid screen exposure in the first 2 years and the best toy what you can give to your child it's you you don't have to be constantly engaging with your child just 10 minutes of quality time twice in a day should be fine and this 10 minutes it should be mind body and soul time where you completely leave all your distractions and continue playing with your child this is called as emotional nutrition just as how you feed the child and you are taking care of the physical development in the same way play with your child this is called as emotional development and after one year to three years you would see that the child will start having tantrums they would throw a fit they would cry unnecessarily well you need to understand that during one to three years the prefrontal cortex that is the area which is responsible for the child's emotions the child is unable to manage so this is absolutely common so do not judge another parent just because the child is having a tantrum it's a phase and it would slowly pass away now 4 to 6 years is the age where there's a lot of fine motor skill development so give a lot of sand play clay art ask the child to paint and give lot of exposure now from 4 to 8 years that is where the school going age well children become more independent responsible this is the age where you'll know the child's strength weaknesses and then is the adolescence So what I would like to tell you is just spend time with your child enjoy this journey of parenting try to have firm boundaries but be polite with your child now I would like to give you another set of instructions I hope the audience would participate in this okay so there'll be two set of instructions you'll have to do accordingly don't stand okay don't talk don't sit Okay everyone wants to sit no one wants to follow instructions <laughs> so you know basically i'm a parent and you are a child okay yeah. okay so don't sit <laughs> don't laugh 
<laughs> don't walk. So this is one set of instruction. Now another set of instruction is stand up. No one wants to stand up. <laughs> okay, walk. Walk. Okay, there's no space. Okay, laugh. <laughs> so which instruction do you feel is easier to follow? Is it the first set of instructions where I said don't do it or is it the second set of instructions? It's the second set. So this simple thing, if we follow with our child, it would be so much easier. You know, throughout the day, we'll be telling, don't jump on the bed, don't walk that way, don't run. And it's so confusing for the child because they don't know what is expected from them. So simple advice is sit down, let's play this. If they are scribbling, scribbling on the wall, rather than don't scribble on the wall, you can say, take this paper and scribble. So if you keep telling it in positive words, it's more likely that the child is going to listen to you. So this is a simple tip which I would like to give for you. And during this journey of parenthood, don't forget about yourself. It's very important you all take care of yourself because it's going to be overwhelming. So it's important even in a flight, you know, they would advise. First, you put on your oxygen mask and then give it to the child. And you cannot pour into a cup when you yourself are empty. So do take care of yourself and enjoy this journey of parenthood. Thank you. I would like to start saying that um, as an embryologist there is no better sign of uh, happiness in our work than uh, seeing all these uh, babies and smiling parents. This is real happiness and this is the, the mission we have uh, from our laboratories and this is the, the final goal. So I'm, I'm very happy to be here today with all these uh, families and with all these parents and uh, sharing this, this joy. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, um, dear guests, and uh, this wonderful 39 uh, family, I'm standing here today before you um, with an immense pride and joy as I announce my association with uh, 39, a global company which is itself uh, dedicated to this profound journey of parenthood. This uh, association with uh, 39 for me is not just a professional association, but it's a real personal commitment with uh, the mission of uh, helping individuals and couples in achieving the dream of parenthood. In my global journey, all over these uh, more than 15 years of experience in this field, I've seen the, the tremendous impact that uh, advanced technology has in the uh, overall results and rates, and also in the uh, overall uh, patient experience. And I've been also had the, the privilege to witness how also science and compassion also impacts in this field. 39, um, with its commitment and uh, dedication becomes a, a real um, element of hope in this uh, field of uh, fertility solutions. 39 with a very skilled uh, team of uh, professionals and advanced, um, and advanced um, facilities in our, in our centers is using right now this power of technology to create a nurturing, a caring uh, environment for, for its patients. The result of this is not only um, our rates, which is obviously there in terms of uh, pregnancies, but also to have a, a holistic uh, approach and perspective, which also addresses all the emotional challenges that uh, happens during this journey. 
I am very excited to bring my expertise to this uh, company, to 49, and to contribute to its mission to um, turning hope into happiness. I believe that uh, with the global perspective that I bring and with the commitment of 39 with uh, excellence and quality, we will redefine the landscape of uh, our fertility field. As we move forward, my goal is to work hand in hand with the 39 team to explore new horizons, to implement uh, the latest uh, technology and methodologies, and also to continue to raise the bar in fertility solutions. Together we can make a real journey uh, from innovation with compassion and most importantly celebrating the essence and the meaning of life, which is these babies we have today here with us. So thank you so much for welcoming me to this beautiful family, which is 39. Thank you so much. I look forward to being part of your individual journeys, making your dreams come true, one miracle at a time. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. So, one song to me malni swagadam palakudamani ne na nukut na nu. Manasuna vunne di, chipala nunne di, maateluravi yela. <laughs> Thank you so much. Can you all put hands together and invite her on stage? Andri ki namaskaram. In fact, adi naalai nu manasila unnadi chapala unnadi matlu naavirila. Because it's so happy to see such a beautiful, happy face. Not just doctors, couples, parents, staffs, teams, team member. Chala chala happy ga unnadi ilant event. Even Chapakurdu, the Okamanchi celebration law, I, to be part of the celebration, I feel very proud. Because this is not just a dream, it's a belief, hope. A belief, hope, many reality macharu, ye doctors, team, staff, andru, andruke congratulations. Not just one, not just two, not just 50, 100 babies in very, very short span. Adi vachi, I think it's a record kudar Chapachu. 100 family happy life ni marche saru wal hai life ni joyful ka marche saru so i congratulate all the all the doctor and staff keep doing this great job because you are making lot of families and lot of couples and parents happy thank you so much for that because i understand and i believe how beautiful parenthood is motherhood is and i understand how beautiful feeling it is joyful feel it is and uh, to all the couple who is going to be a parent, congratulations and all the best. And her parents, enjoy this journey. Good luck. Ipudu tana chetil me digane. Mana logo guda manam launches ko bhoote namo. So can we have the 49 fertility, cent uh, fertility centers logo launch? So can we do? Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, with my deepest gratitude, I wish to thank all of you to come along, make the day memorable for us. I can't thank more to all the parents who came with their tiny tots, which makes us feel very happy, proud, privileged to be in this business. I think the day was uh, most memorable seeing so many tiny tots parents. I think we all are close-knit in um, IVF business because we believe in the ethos of spreading the joy of happiness. Thank you very much to everyone for all the contributions and see you sometime again. Thank you. <laughs> 